Well, well, Rippy, it's Thursday night after 8 o'clock, and I'm over at the Rural Kang. It's uh, kind of quiet in here now. I like it that way. And got a lot of power equipment. They, they sell the... Oh, no, that's the spools for the these guys. I thought that was a pull cord, but I did get a uh, deal on some bar and chain oil. Yeah, that cutting fire was harder than I thought it was. Here's a half a bag, uh, a damaged bag that's been marked down, of the horse feed, I think it is, but I'm going to go and get some dog food for Harlow here in a minute. I left them out in the car because they close at night. I just ran in here at the last minute after the, the place just gets too wild for me. I come in after the people. Uh, it's still busy now, but. And they're running 10% off the guns. The guns are excellent here at Rural King. Ex extensive. It's all good. Uh, but I was kind of looking at the prices. It's hard to tell the prices. On the chains, you're going to... You got three numbers to match. And you buy a new chain like this anymore. Where it used to be you'd go up to the gas station and they'd make you a new chain. And fix your lawnmower at the gas station but the small town gas station is a thing of the past so but i was excited because i thought they were sold out of these but they have three of them in stock and they have electrified they have a headlight see it has an alternator on it so that's another fifty dollars over when it doesn't have that and last year we looked at the desert um, gray ones and they had a plastic gas tank on it that doubled as a toolbox a glove box actually the gas tank you still had to put it in the engine it's kind of funny how that engine doesn't have a label on the cover it's kind of like a knockoff engine but Coleman put their name on it it looks like a pretty heavy frame I kind of like the strength that the, that looks that how they do these bicycles from China there's just this one weld here, if it broke, you know. Looks like a pretty strong frame. But yeah, that's cool that they have the... Um, uh, doesn't my beard look great? Everyone's complimenting my beard. And uh, my facial hair. Harlow likes to lick it. I never thought about getting the food in it. So, there was the Coleman EU5000s. And they went to an orange and it has a plastic fender. And then Thanksgiving Day they had a 10% off your entire purchase. So you would have took 50 bucks off the $500 one. Another thing here, they, their carts all have flat tires. So, so you got to be sure you get your good cart. Oh wow, there's three of them here in crates. That's how they come from China. Brand new in the crate. Never had gas in them. Your specifications. Oh, that's capacity. I was going to say, that weighs 200 pounds. This is a fun place to shop. Holds just less than a gallon of fuel. But yeah, I got me a, a, the bar and chain oil over here. The cam too. Where that husky oil over there was 15 bucks a gallon or whatever. And this is six bucks a gallon on sale, but the two gallon was only ten dollars. So two and a half gallon, I'm sorry, two and a half gallon for ten bucks. So that's ten quarts of oil for ten bucks. So a dollar a quart. I just um, the tree looked down and had a tree down. I'm like, oh, you know, I can just pull it out of the way and work around it. And um, it's like, oh no, I got another one. I looked at it and I got a third one down and some of them are really good size I just have the 16 inch saw I haven't looked at anything like this new before the other yeah, it's 400 for the baby and they go to 500 but that baby one for 400 is actually a dual stage that's kind of cool it'd be lightweight for hauling around doing the neighbors put it in the car and take it somewhere but yeah here's more stall chains and these these um see i was looking at some made in um australia and then i bought some a 10 year old chain new old stock it's a carlton professional oh wow they have the air filters for mine it's 25 bucks well wow, the spark that's kind of neat yeah 
I think that's what my Delmore takes. But that the I didn't go. Um, I was going to say Goodwill, but Volunteers of America had their auction, and they had some of these string trimmers there last week, which I missed a sale. I'm thinking about looking at some trucks tomorrow, just for the heck of it. And a little sharpener for your chain. I don't know if that would be, but then I know people have two of them. I just ended up putting a new chain. I'm not going to fool with the sharpening much, and hopefully I won't have much, uh, quantity to be cutting won't be using it right away that's a heck of a bar and chain there for forty dollars and then i noticed too when my oregon chain versus my carlton chain my carlton professional chain is way heavier than so and yeah you can just about guarantee that's made in china and you could tell from the pictures in ebay the cheapest chain it just looked very lightweight so anyway, it'd be kind of like a Chinese knife versus a made in America knife. But yeah, got my stuff I came over to get. And they're playing the Christmas music. And Harlow will get his food. And everybody's happy. Thank you for watching my videos, everyone. Bogard Rippy here shopping over at Rural King. Merry Christmas.